another thingy nettle where? I don't know. Well, that's where? That's there. Well, where did you get it? I don't know. What part of your body? Here. Is that where the hole in your pants are? Yeah. And that's why. Come on up. Is that where the rip is? Let me see. Yeah. yeah, that's why. I told mommy, I don't care what pants you wear, just make sure there's no holes in them. Hey. Holes in the knees. But it'll be worth wearing shorts. Ha! <laughs> You'd never make it in shorts. It's gotta be at least 30 degrees. I'm uh, just talking to the camera, bud. At least, I sure picked the good days to get out here. But can you imagine? Imagine going through here from like a kid's perspective, like like this, this wall. Can't see over top of it. What? I'm saying, can you even see over the grass? No, I can see grass and trees. <laughs> so I'd say we we earned our fish today. And I, I imagine it takes us about probably about an hour to get back. Yeah. At this rate. We don't want to go fast though because we don't have a ton of water left. So anyway, we go this way. I think that's the way we came from. We can follow our old path. There it is. Makes it a lot easier. Even though you think it's just grass. It's easy to get through, no problem, because it's grass. I was saying it's, it seems like it's easy to get through because it's just grass. But it slows you down so much. Doesn't it, buddy? It's like... It's like walking in snow. <laughs> like a jungle. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely like walking in like really deep snow. But there's no mosquitoes. What? No mosquitoes. No horse flies, no deer flies. Not a lot of people realize that. Well, maybe you do, I don't know. But these rivers, they wind so much that if you follow the edge of them, you're walking uh, two or three times the distance if you try to, and if you go in a straight line. I just try to go in a straight line because I'm trying to get the furthest away from the road. But if you walk along the edge of the river, because it winds so much, like an S. Because it's all constantly trying to find the low, well, it constantly flows in the low ground. So when you're following it, it tends to make an S. Pretty windy. But I just follow the tree edge for the most part. And that'll take me in a more or less of a straight line in the low lying area. And that gets me a straight line and then I eventually reach up to the uh, one of the bends in the S where the tree line meets. Anyway, that's what we're looking at here. And I'm just constantly listening for holding behind me. As long as I hear the grades of blast behind me, I'm real good. What? Nothing, just talking. Oh, look at you, you're roughed up. Here, water.
Drink as much as you want. That's enough. That's enough? Oh, one won't. Is it hot out here? Yeah. It's dynamite. Huh? It's like dynamite. How is dynamite hot? I don't know. I just made it up. Nah, it's hilarious. What you doing, buddy? I'm you're sitting in the trunk putting your shoes on? Yeah. How's that how's that cool air feel on your skin? Good. Yeah, I know. A little bit of a breeze here. We made it back. <laughs>